Hey guys, I'm here to present yet another tutorial for PlayStation 3 custom firmware users. Uh, this tutorial is based upon individuals who ask me how do I connect my PS3 to use DEX features. Uh, there are multiple ways. Most people usually connect their console uh, Ethernet cable wire to router. Uh, the way I'm going to show you is how to set up your PS3 wirelessly to connect to your router for online play and to create a private IP to uh, run, you know, you can run NetSheet, transfer games through this private IP and it's a lot quicker. It depends on your hard drive and your Ethernet cable bandwidth speed. Um, to get started with this tutorial, you're going to need to go to your your internet connection right click go to open network and sharing center once you did that you're gonna want to go to change adapter settings you're gonna notice local area connection network cable unplugged I do not currently have an ethernet cable connected from my PC to the PS3 but before you do that you're gonna want to right click it go to properties Once that once the local area connection properties window displays, you're going to want to go to Internet Protocol version 4, TCP slash IPv4, double click. Okay, you're going to want to select, use the following IP address. The IP address you're going to use is 10.1.1.1. The subnet mask is 255.0.0. Point zero, and your default gateway is 10.1.1.1 all right this is this is confusing maybe I don't know uh, some of you may have obtained DNS server address automatically selected what you're going to want to do is use the following DNS server address so select this option and you're going to want to type in 10.1.1.0 and then for alternate DNS server, you're going to want to type in 10.1.1.100. Once you did this, to save your information, you're going to press OK. You're going to press OK here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and connect my Ethernet cable from my PS3 to the laptop because I already have my settings adjusted for on both laptop and my console. So I'm going to show you guys that this does connect before I proceed to show you what settings you need to adjust on your DEX console. This only works for DEX. If you're not on DEX custom firmware, you're not going to have the option to do this. So please keep that in mind. Okay, once you've connected your PS3 to your laptop via Ethernet, <laughs> you're going to notice it says unidentified network. So close that out. Close this out. Um, most of you possibly I don't know I use both some of you only use DEX but I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, CCAPI so I'm going to open this up you're gonna to wanna to go to file add new console I always name it the same so it's ProDG and then the IP address that you're gonna to wanna to use you're gonna type in 10.1 Point one point two. Press OK. Once you've created a new connection through con uh, Console Manager, you want to want to right click it, hit Connect. Success connected to Protege Wired. When refresh, show my temperature. This is my firmware. Console is Type Dex. Um, I'm going to go ahead and minimize this, and I'm going to open up Protege Target Manager. You're going to want to add a new console. So go to Add Target. Type in the name Pro DG Wired. Once you did that, select Debugging Station. Make sure that is highlighted. Press Next. Uh, IP address or host name. This is very important. You're going to want to type in 10.1. Point one, point two. 
Leave your port settings at 1000, press next. You're going to see the summary of the information you just typed in, press finish. All right, it's going to say available. You're going to have to give it a few seconds to load up. Once you give it time to load up, you're going to right click. You're going to want to see this display, the connect button in which it just did. So once you right click it, connect. Okay, it connected. It's success. Um, before I proceed to show you what settings you need to adjust on your console, uh, a lot of people do not realize how fast this connection is. Uh, if you're one of those individuals who do not you know scan through memory with NetSheet or you know find your own hacks and shit you're gonna wanna use this connection as well I know there's a lot of mod menu users in SPRX but for those of you who still use tools and you connect via TMAPI which is through DEX you're gonna notice a lot of the uh, features coded in these tools are gonna react and they're gonna be more responsive they're gonna be quicker um, it's because you created a private IP. Just make sure that your PlayStation 3 console is connected wirelessly to your router. That way you can sign online and when you have you know, dual connection, you've created a, a second IP to run to your laptop. So you're not interfering with your main connection. All right, so now that I've explained that, I'm, we'll see you guys at the, uh, at the PlayStation. Once you guys turn on your PlayStation 3 console, you're going to want to sign into your account, your profile. Uh, go to debug settings. Remember, this is for DEX consoles only. And I am on Rebug, so IDA users will have this as well. Once you're in debug settings, you're going to want to scroll down. you're gonna look for a setting that says network settings for debug yours is probably gonna say single settings so change it to dual this is optional uh, you could turn pad auto detect off I haven't tried it with it turned on so you can give it a shot go to connection settings for debug dual settings select manual type in 10.1.8 1.2 subnet mass 255.255.255.0 and you're going to want to press X to save your settings it's going to ask you to restart your console that's not necessary just yet because if you are connected wired from your PlayStation 3 to your router you're going to want to make sure you set up a wireless connection I'm going to go do an internet connection test this is going to verify that I've got my console connected wirelessly to sign online and play. And once you have set up a wireless connection to your router and everything is success, you're going to want to restart your console. After you restart your console, you will be able to connect Prodigy Target Manager and CCAPI. Thank you for watching the tutorial.